Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So, <laughs> first up, uh, the glasses. So, these are blue light glasses my wife had, and uh, I'm just wearing them because it's helping with my eyes. Uh, turns out I need glasses. Uh, I don't know how bad it is. I mean, I feel like I can see pretty good, but anyway, I got them ordered and everything, and I got blue lights in them, and uh, so I'm just trying these, and Whatever, I thought they looked kind of goofy, so I figured I'd wear them for a video. Uh, the unboxing knife, this is, man, uh, this is the Gavco Nurse Liner Lock. Uh, it's a custom Gavco, and I sent it off to Mike Gavco to have the detent strengthened because it was a little bit weak for my liking. He does use like a flattened detent ball, so it kind of has this like pop and click to it, which is awesome. Um, and I got it back and the detent I thought was spot on. Um, so you know me, I took it apart to see if I could get the action better. Cause it wasn't like dropping that way. Um, and I did that. And then every time I put it back together, I had all this lock stick. It was weird. Um, I don't know. I took it apart like 17 times. I put different bearings in right now. I have Delrin three sixteenth pivot bearings, which is weird. Cause I swear it came with five millimeter bearings. Uh, cause I had Gillian's in there, but, uh, these Delrin's just, man, they're so smooth. Uh, it's not like a guillotine where it's just going to drop, but if you give it one little shaky, it goes, um, and the lock stick is all but gone. I'm assuming the rest of it will just wear in. Left-handed, you barely notice any, you know, click or anything lock uh, stick-wise. Right-handed, you really don't notice it either. So uh, I think I finally got it perfect. And then I let it sit for at least a day with the Loctite in there, Permatex in there. And this is what I got. So... I'm very happy. It's dead nuts. And I'm going to use it to unbox this instead of do a video about this. Idiot. Uh, this is Nitro V Steel, by the way, which is pretty cool. Anyway, this package here is from Jamie, a.k.a. Jamie Loves Knives on Instagram. He is a great dude. Um, he actually sent a QSP Gannett for me to give away. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I did. Um, and when he did that, he offered two knives. And he said, pick one, you know, you can give it away. I was like, all right. Um, well, he just sent me the second knife. So I guess he wants to give away both. And he also sent me a loaner. So thank you to Jamie. I still have his Riot Jack 2.0. I got to finish the review on that. Uh, I had a rough week last week, so I'm kind of getting back into things here. Um, so I got to catch up, I guess, but I'm trying not to overdo it. Um, anyway, this here is a CJRB Tigris, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, I've heard a lot about these. Uh, they are obviously from the budget artisan brand. Uh, it's a liner lock. Uh, I don't really like the liner in there. Uh, flipper only, which is kind of, eh. you know, I think what you could do if you were, you know, apt to is do a flipper delete right then you'd have maybe you could even cut a little choil in here maybe and then you'd have like a little choil up here flipper delete and then just cut a hole in um uh, if you cut a hole into the blade kind of like the sheepdog mod i mean you would be right there bang it would be set up perfectly this is a perfect model for that uh anyway going to stop talking about that. This will be given away on a live stream next time I do one, I suppose. It's almost dropped shut, which it better be, being such an enormous knife. I uh, have a sheep's foot blade there, um, and then you have this big old cyber truck looking handle. Uh, you know, it feels pretty good in the hand, actually. It's not something I would ever carry just because of the obnoxious ability of it. Is that a word? Obnoxiousness of it. Uh, I hate the liner. You look at that. It's just like this diagonal steel liner that you have to like shove your finger into. Uh, it's just not pleasant. The flipper works very well. Uh, they dialed the detent very well, which is a positive sign. Yeah, it has a good detent. I could fail it if I wanted to, but if I flick it, it flicks. Um, yeah, I hate that liner, man. Or the, I should say, I hate the lock bar access. Sorry. Uh, when I say liner, I mean lock bar access. Just a weird shape and everything. Uh, 
I believe this is in AR RPM 9. Yes, it is. You can see that there, maybe. And you can see the serial number. I don't know if I'll do a disassembly of this. I may just to do it, but it, it's just like slabs of G10 uh, over steel liners. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's got this giant thing coming off the back for a lanyard hole kind of deal. Um, yeah, Flipper really does work well. And the Ergos are good. So I can definitely see why people would like this knife. Nice and sharp. You got a flat grind that goes most of the way down the blade. And it's not super thick to begin with. So you're going to have a pretty good slicey edge, I would bet. Um, and the action's incredible. I mean, I can definitely see people liking this knife um, for all of the reasons I just stated. But man, wouldn't it be nice to flick this bitch out? Um the colorway is okay. I'm not a big fan of white knives, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, what else? I don't know. I don't have much more to say about it. Flipper tab is nice how it's not jimped at all or anything. It's not angled in a weird way. It's got good, uh, you get a good grip on it. Maybe a little pokey, but the detent's dialed to where it doesn't hurt. You kind of get your index finger on this little flap right here, so you're kind of like locked in. Uh, by that, you know, it's kind of like a guard, which is nice. Um, yeah, it just seems like a CJRB. Uh, it's like their shot at the sheepdog. I mean, it's pretty obvious that's what they were going for here. Uh, they were going for a, not a sheepdog knockoff, but like, you know, a competitor to the sheepdog, um, which is cool. So that's the Tigris. That'll be given away, like I said. Uh, is the clip reversible? No, probably because of the angle and everything, so... Uh, that's that. Then I have this. This is actually an ADV case, but I believe this is a Lanny. It's a Leong Ma. No, a Pena. Sorry. Jeez, Kev. Get that brain working, son. Uh, yeah, this is the Enrique. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, the backspacer is literally coming off. This needs a little bit of help um you can see it right there see that the gap between the backspacer and the scale like it's spreading apart hoping it just needs to be tightened uh maybe it came loose in shipping the weather can do crazy things guys so we'll see hopefully the titan will take care of that um but yeah so this is the pena i believe it's called the lanny actually that's why i said leon ma because you know he has a model called the lanny I love the blue hardware. I think this came out a couple of years ago. Riot made, uh, you know, Pena knife. I mean, usually his are all front flippers. So I have, and I've had a bunch of the Pena front flippers. Uh, this Lanny, oh yeah, wait. Maybe, I don't fucking know, Jesus. Uh, this is the front flipper Lanny's clip. Maybe this is just the Lanny flipper, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I love this blade shape. Uh, I just love this build. I, I kind of put it together. Um, uh, and I love the front flipper on this thing. You can reverse flick it. Uh, you can reverse flick it if you're man enough. You can over the top flick it if you're not sweaty or anything. <laughs> um, I'm really sweaty right now. There you go. Anyway, let's check out the flipper and the detent. Riot! I love React, guys. They just nail... Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Okay, hang on. Okay, so... Jesus. Uh, the titanium on here is... Okay, plain titanium, marbled carbon fiber with those blue accents. Sorry, blue anodized hardware and everything, so it's titanium. Uh, hardware. Look at this blade. So you got a compound grind. You got a... a a hollow back here that feels really good. Uh, this is S35VN, so it's definitely an older model, I guess. And then you have a flat grind up here at the tip, and then you got that Rhino, like, Lanny's clip. Sexy, man. Uh, it's a little tall, you know what I mean? But um, in my hand, large glove size hand, it fits, like, perfectly, almost like a glove. Um, no choil, but like you can kind of grip it there if you want to. Again, I'm kind of sweaty. Um, no jimping anywhere except for like this kind of frag stuff back here. Feels really good. Yeah, kind of locked in. Um, let's see the action. 
Assuming it's a Riyadh, I'm guessing it's good. Yeah, maybe a little bit of tuning, a uh, little bit of KPL heavy. I could probably get this boy singing a little better. But it's not a huge blade or anything, although I think it would drop better. Might need a cleaning. I don't know if he'll care if I take it apart. He might not. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely solid action. The flipper tab, which is new to me for Pena. Um, I think I've, hand yeah, I've handled the Moolah, but that's a front flipper slash thumb stud knife. Um, there's a little bit of jimping and then it's kind of squared off. It's a little bit of an interesting flipper tab, but the way it grips you, yeah, it just comes out of there. This kind of has vibes of the Varga VBR. It's like a smaller Varga VBR so in some way, the way it, the thickness, the feel and everything it does have a fuller. Ah, man. I think the detent's too strong. Oh, careful. Yeah, I think the detent's too strong, or it's because I'm left-handed. Yep, left-handed. I think you can flick it. There you go. I got it out. Left-handed? I don't know why. I'm not on the lock bar. There you go. So, yeah, they didn't design it to be flicked with that fuller, which is kind of sad. Uh, it's just not chamfered enough, or, I'm sorry, the opposite of that. It's too chamfered. Uh, to get it consistently. Now, maybe some people can get it better than I can. I'm just struggling. So, uh, yeah. So, that's the Pena. I really want to say it's called the Lanny. Just Lanny. But I could be wrong. Um, so, I'm going to say it anyway. That's the Lanny <laughs> from Pena. Uh, at least the Lanny flipper. So, there you go. Uh, big thanks to Jamie. Uh, Jamie loves knives for sending a bunch of loners lately. Uh, makes it very nice to be able to check out knives I actually am interested in. Um, you know, he has a very quality collection. And uh, this is just a big help. So, really appreciate it, dude. Uh, thank you for sending the Tigris along for the giveaway. And, uh, yeah. So, that's it, guys. Uh, I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.